Hi, everyone. Welcome. Hi. We're just going to give everyone a few minutes to join today. So just sit back and relax. We're going to get our monster bash started here shortly. Yes. All right, it looks like we've got a good group to get started today. So we are excited. We've got a ton of spooky, monstery crafts for you, uh, ready for you today. We're gonna start out with a monster frame. We're gonna make some spooky clothespin characters and make some monster slime in a monster jar. So ooh, perfect for Halloween. You do not have to do everything. You, do. <laughs> you can only do what you wanna do. My name is Jessica. This is- Alice. And we are going to be creating the monster frame with you today. So throughout, we'd love to hear questions. We'd love to hear comments. Please put them in the Q&A and we will kind of check in throughout and make sure everybody has everything they need to make our projects today. So first things first, we're gonna start by making a monster frame. It looks like this. He's a scary guy, it's kind of goofy too, kind of a silly monster. Um, and he requires a couple different products today. So you're gonna need your frame. You're gonna need uh, paint, Craftsmart paint. You will need um, something to uh, paint on. So we're just using a table today that I, we don't care that it gets messy, but if you're at home, I would definitely recommend putting something underneath your frame because there will be paint um, on whatever surface you're gonna be uh, crafting on. We're gonna need wiggly eyes, some glue. You could also use, if you have an adult present, um, a uh, glue gun. gun and some chenille stems, um, also known as pipe cleaners, whichever you like to call them. Some foam, scissors. What did I miss, Alice? Um, Paint brushes. Paint brushes, you need the frame. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think we went through everything. Um, so, you, um, yeah. We all right. foam, yeah. foam, yeah. I think we, we, we got it all. All right, so let's get started. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So first, we're gonna um, we're gonna oh, be wait, using. Eyes. Oh, thank you. Googly eyes. Googly Very eyes. Very important. Um, so we're we today we're gonna use two different colors of paint, and we're gonna use purple. So we're using a lighter purple and a darker purple. But you can use whatever colors you want. Make your monster whatever color you want to make your monster. See. So earlier today, I made one and I used kind of a, an, again, another lighter purple, but I used a dark navy blue for my spots, okay? So um, do whatever you think is silly and fun or spooky and scary. Um, so you wanna shake up your paint a little bit, just make sure the lid's on tight. And then we're gonna put some in our, oh, these, um, hold on, let me help Alice. You need to shake up your paint because if you don't, it will be all liquidy. Yeah, but you need to kind of mix your paint together. All right, so you're okay. I'll get it. Okay, so we're gonna put some of our paint in our palette, and then we're gonna get started. I'm gonna give Alice a little bit. I'm gonna give me a little bit. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is uh, start by uh, painting our frame the base color. So I'm actually gonna wait to put in the lighter color because you're gonna want your. Um, um, oh, you could do it either way. Either paint the base with your darker or paint the base with your lighter. I think we're gonna start today with a darker base and then we'll use the lighter color for spots, but you can do it however you like. So we're gonna take our big paint brush and we're just gonna start painting our frame. This reminds me of something. It does. It reminds me of grape juice. <laughs> it looks like grape juice. That, it does actually. So um, something to note with these frames, they are paint monsters, right? So, monsters? and I, I'm not kidding when I say that. They love the first, the first um, layer you're gonna put on is gonna soak into the wood pretty fast. So we're probably gonna do two coats just to get a nice even cover, um, layer of coverage. Um, so you don't see any white spots on your frame. Mm -hmm. So this first one just kind of go light, but make sure you get all the whole frame. And then we're gonna come back in a minute and do another um, another batch on top, just and, to make sure the paint gets all the way into the frame. And also, if you start painting sideways, sideways, 
paint sideways for the rest of your um, frame as you're painting the base. Mm -hmm. If you were painting up and down, do the same thing. That's right. And why would you want to do that? Alex? Because um, then it won't be even and it would make like weird marks if you yeah, went up down. Yeah, because you're going to see the strokes on your wood, how it, how it kind of blends in. So if you do up and down and then across, you're going to see that in your paint. So Alice is right. You always kind of want to try to paint in the same direction across your entire project unless you're going for an effect that, um, you know, is like a crosshatch effect where you would make kind of that kind of movement, right? And if you're using acrylic paint, like we are, I think, mm -hmm. yeah. um, it goes, it dries very, very fast. It does. And that's so that this first layer, like I said, um, it, it just soaks into the wood really fast. So you'll actually see it, this first layer dry pretty quickly. Your second layer might take another minute. And so while we're doing that, we'll um, we'll move on to other parts of our project to allow it time to dry a little bit. Yeah, we do have more. Yeah. All right. So I think first question while we're painting, we'd love to hear what everyone's going to dress up for um, as for Halloween. Is anyone, what characters are you going to dress up as or creatures? Alice, what are, what are you? You have part of your costume on. You didn't wear your whole costume. Uh, um. I have a shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a blue shirt. Mm -hmm. I tucked up the sleeves. It was a long blue shirt. I do have a jacket, but it's not the main jacket. Mm -hmm. The jacket I want, I, I'm using is at home, but um, I have a shirt with a thick kind of knot. I don't know like if it's pixelated or not. Really. Kind of. It's not pixelated. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's like a strawberry, but it's not. And what? Oh, real. A real strawberry. Okay. And and what uh, character are you? Um, like, who are you dressed up as or going to dress up as? I'm <laughs> someone from Fortnite. Fortnite, yeah. My favorite game. <laughs> I play 24 7. So we have some answers coming in. Oh, I want to hear. We have Black Cat. Ooh, that was, oh, Alice tried to change her mind last minute. She wanted to be a Black Cat. I said no. <laughs> We could just get black. I love it. What else? We have <laughs> skeletons. Ooh. Ooh. We have a, spe a skeleton joke. We uh, Okay, well, maybe let's wait and hear some of our other costumes and then we can tell our skeleton so we joke. We have Aurora and Maleficent. <gasps> Ooh, uh, that's a good one. This lady was Maleficent last year. I was year. Maleficent last year. As Maleficent is the mother of Mal. She is family. from Descendants. We like Descendants in our house. So one thing I want to note for everybody <laughs> okay, as you're as you're doing your your first layer of paint, and then we'll take then we'll hear some more of what you're doing. So here on the inside of your frame, it's I'm kind of hard to people. see, but there's like an edge on this inside. You want to make sure that gets painted, okay? And then you probably want to paint the outside edge of your frame as well. So we're gonna just give this a light. They don't have to be as kind of heavy as this inside. Um, but we're going to give the edges a light coat and you want to make sure you get this edge good I've too. I painted okay? my people in the middle of my frame. All right. Who else do we you, have, are we going to um, have? A uh, Lego. Ooh, a Lego oh, man. Charlie was a Lego last year. Big That's cut. Alice's big brother. Well, not last year, but the year before last year, because he wanted candy, but he, but he had to dress up. So we, mom just bought him like a Lego mask and Lego ham, and it, like somehow he got to go trick or treating. He's ne well, he had a costume. He's never Alice's big brother has never been a big Halloween lover. Like he He's, loves the candy, he just doesn't like having to dress up. So so he just sits in the <laughs> playroom in our like gaming room. He, helps he hand yells. Out candy. He yells like. Oh, I hit him play for white, and then Dad has to yell, "Charlie, stop being okay. noisy." <laughs> he can get loud, but he helps hand out the candy while we go out trick or treating. What? Who? Who else are we gonna see on Halloween this year, Lindsay? We have Sonic and Lego <gasps> Ninja. Oh, I love it! Do you Some know Horn and hey. Captain America? Do you All know right. the Lego Some Marvel characters? Do you know the Lego Ninja? Um, nin Gago set and um set actually came out the year I was born. I bet they did not know that. The dragon, they like the ones with the big dragons. Charlie has two. But. So you see right now I'm painting the, the outside edge of my frame. I painted that inside edge so it's nice and got a nice covering all the way around. Okay, so just keep going. All right. Um, well, I'm gonna tell my skeleton joke. Okay. Oh, Alice, it's time for the first joke. Alice. Um, so skeletons are skeletons. They don't have bodies. This is not the joke. Don't think it's the 
joke. When I got to a little kid, I couldn't say skeleton, so I said skeckingtons. Yes, so we call skeletons skeckingtons in our house. And now we have a skeleton skeleton named Mr. Skeckington. Mm-hmm. And she, my mom got it from Michael's. We did. Okay. <laughs> Wait. I need to find it. Um, okay. Um, what oh, size I think is the frame? Oh, you're well, using. um. Okay, hold on. While you're um, the, the, we're using a size. This one is actually a, so the outside uh, dimensions are uh, three, 3.7 inches by 3.7 inches. So it's a square frame. Um, you can use, you know, whatever size frame. This inside piece, I'm guesstimating, honestly, is probably about an, two inches. Um, so that's what we'll use for our, our, about the width that we'll use for our foam teeth when we get to that part of the project. Okay, I remember the joke. We just don't have it here. Mm -hmm. It's, um, why do skeletons, why do skeletons don't go trick-or-treating? Why don't, why don't skeletons go trick-or-treating? Any guesses? Put them in the Q and A. I just said that. Oh, thank you. But very repeated. quietly. I repeated it. All right, we're still painting. We're still painting. I'm almost done with my first layer. She's a cheater. Mm. He has the, the bigger brush. Oh. He has a fatter brush. All right, so I've got good coverage all around my frame. I'm going to start on my second layer just to kind of. Uh, make sure it's nice and dark and there are no white spaces on my frame. So I'm just going to go over it one more time with another layer of paint. I need. Okay, we have some answers. Okay. okay. They have nobody to go with. <gasps> That's you totally got it on the first try. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I feel like. They have nobody to go with. <laughs> <laughs> I also had one that um, I found in school. And so um, who can tell me, did you know that Halloween has other names? And uh -huh. who can tell me what some of the other names for Halloween are? You probably were studying this in school this week. If you didn't, that's fine. I got candy. I can steal some of your paint. My mother is stealing paint. Do you have any guesses or does anybody know what some other names for Halloween are? Um, we have one, All Hallows Eve. Very good, yep. yes. So all it, Halloween is also known as All Hallows Eve or All Saints Eve is another name that people use uh, for Halloween. And then it got made shorter into Halloween. Mm-hmm. Right. Can you do the edges for me? Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm gonna help Alice here. I've got my second la layer of paint on. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. You kind of wanna spread it um, pretty thin on your frame so that it dries faster, right? So you don't want big kind of goopy paint. You want you want a kind of good thin layer, but that gives you good coverage. And can you paint So it that'll help it dry I faster. Me off the paper and well, you're just painting okay. the face. <laughs> But yes, I can. I like All right, paint. so I'm going to help Alice out here really quickly. As we I have paint a, the a joke. <gasps> oh, you know, I love right. jokes. Let's hear it. Let's jokes. see if we can get it. What is a monster's favorite cereal? Count Chocula? <laughs> That's a real cereal. <laughs> Scream of wheat. Ah, I love it. <laughs> That's a good one. I always wanted... We didn't get to have sugar cereals growing up. So she I was always jealous of like Count Chocula and Blueberry, Blueberry and they all sounded good. <laughs> yeah, she, her mom, her first birthday made her like this cake. What was it made of? Bran and honey. <laughs> See, that's what she got for her first birthday, people. Yes, yum. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yum. Okay, so I'm going to get Alice's. We, I think we got the inside edges covered pretty well. I'm going to get her outside edges, and then we're going to... She actually got really good coverage the first time around, so she's been doing a good job. And I painted my piece. So then we'll move on to our next our next step, okay? I also have another joke. Okay, Alice, why don't you tell a joke while I'm finishing up this part okay, of Okay, um... What do ghosts eat on Halloween? <laughs> Oh, 
What do we have any guesses? What do ghosts eat on Halloween? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, type in the Q and A. Q and A. Blueberries. Oh my gosh, people are on a roll today. <laughs> this is crazy. Yes. No, wait. Nuts, what do they? Blueberries. No. And then we um, also got some candy corn, yeah. ghost cake. Oh. Oh, sorry, Alice. We also have another one that I found in school. That's the same girl. Okay, so we'll, we, we're accepting multiple answers. What was the answer you were looking for, Alice? Ice cream. Ah. Instead of ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> so you can have screaming ice cream. All right. Like in Hotel Transylvania mm. when they had screaming cake. Mm. Okay, have we've got Alice's frame all done, and we're just going to let it kind of dry. Um, I'm actually going to kind of um, take some of the paint off here by doing this. That'll help it dry faster. And, okay. you and then we're gonna will, move on to our next step. You, so you can use any actual shape of eyeballs. Yes, we actually, when I, I made a frame earlier today, I only had little googly eyes. So I, uh, my monster has tiny eyes because monsters come in all shapes and sizes, just like people. Yes. So anything works. Anything goes. Okay, I'm actually going to try to speed speed our uh, drying up a little bit by just taking my foam. It works as a great fan. Oh, I'll do that. Okay. okay, you can do that. Oh, and the strawberry kind of on my shirt. Mom made it. My mom made it all out of foam. I don't know. I don't know that they can see it, but yes, these shows. foam sheets actually come in handy for for cost Halloween costumes. So just there. FYI. You can see right there. There you go. Okay. Um, now we're going to work on our next, uh, um, you keep, you keep waving. I'm going to, I'm going to get our paint ready. So we're going to work on our next paint color. Oh, no, so you'll I see, <laughs> so you'll see that we made, we took our lighter paint on the bottom and then we took our darker paint and made some circles. So we gave our monster spots. You are welcome to make, give your monster whatever shapes or other colors you want. You could have stripes. Uh, she could have triangles she or he. he she or he or it. Like, who who you know it, it might just be a, a monster let so, me tell you something that's okay too i have like two cats they're both females one is named whiskers that's my cat that i terrorize and the other one's name is mario that's my brothers and a bunch of people when they come to my house they're like he's so cute and then i'm like it's a she it is, we have a cat named Mario that is a girl. So it's, it's very my confusing. Brothers. Okay, so. And, and it's fat. It is a fat, very fat cat. So we're gonna do our next uh, paint. We actually use our darker paint as our base this time. And we're gonna use our lighter paint for our monster. We're gonna use spouncers um, to make easy circles, but you can use a paintbrush, you can use toothpicks, you can use the ends of pencils, uh, like pencil erasers whatever you want to kind of make different shapes um, and patterns on your frame. So I'm just gonna take my spouncer and dip it in the paint. And with spouncers, you can get a lot of paint on there. And these spots, um, you wanna make sure that they're gonna dry pretty quickly. So I'm gonna actually kind of take my, my spouncer and just kind of gently tap it. You want good coverage, but you don't want too much paint on your spouncer. So I'm gonna gently kind of tap it over on the side um, just to get some of, that, some of that paint off and it should come over just fine to your to your frame and you just press put it on your frame and press and there you go you've got a nice circle but like i said you could also use another paintbrush if you want larger smaller size um i'm using like this size makeup looking paintbrush mm -hmm. and it doesn't have a pleasant sound it's a very spooky sounding paintbrush More all right it. so i'm actually gonna i'm gonna try to make use this to make my circle a little bigger. I'm just gonna kind of bounce around in a larger circle. You can also use it like a paintbrush and just kind of make different things. So I'm gonna make my start decorating uh, your your monster's spots on your frame. All right. And if you want to, I'm not saying you have to, but we're not doing this. Mm -hmm. You can take maybe some paper or something in the back, mm -hmm. you can make like a long tail. Oh, that would be interesting. That's a, I like that addition. 
Okay, what color? Are, what colors are everyone else using for their monster? What are your monsters gonna look like? What colors and shapes? Can you tell us in the Q and A? Uh, when we were when we were talking earlier, Alice, who did you say? What monster did you th say that might be might be fun to make? Oh, um, whatever his name is, I forget. It's from it's the big blue guy with spots from Monsters Inc. Mm -hmm. Is it Sully? Yes, yeah, Sully. That's it. Because he has to think of the name. So we have green, mm. uh, purple with red spots. Ooh. Um, lots of green, purple with orange. Ooh, I like mm. that. Purple and blue, red and uh, pink. Oh, blue's my favorite color. Black and blue, orange and black. Nice. You've got a lot of creative, yeah. creative you guys ideas can, out there. You guys can also use three colors, like black. Yeah, you can and totally purple. mix it up. You can yeah. go. You can Riley go. has orange, teal, pink, and blue. Riley, I love it. That is amazing. For my, I think it was my fifth birthday. My parents painted my whole room pink. Mm -hmm. And now, and because she loved pink, and now guess what? She doesn't love anymore. Pink. <laughs> but her room is pink. <laughs> I'm still fine on her. Yeah. Well, you better be because it's going to be pink for a while. So. And I have like this big golden bed mm -hmm. with stars on it. Okay. How about everybody tell me a little bit about some of your Halloween traditions? Like we were talking earlier about some of the fun things that we do every Halloween. Our neighborhood has a everybody goes outside and sits in their yard or in their driveway and they kind of put tables out and everybody just kind of hangs out outside on Halloween like, what the and watches the trick-or-treaters and we all kind of you just get to it's a fun way to get to see your neighbors and Alice's daddy makes a big pot of chili yeah and last night mm -hmm. I thought he said he just wanted to make chili for Halloween and then mom's like your dad makes chili every ha every Halloween night and I'm like i I thought he just went chilly on Halloween. Oh, wow. So that's our tradition. What are some fun things that your family does every year on Halloween to I'm celebrate? I'm not gonna lie, but I, I'm gonna tell you something that I forget to go to bed. Okay. I have to leave all my lights on. Mm hmm and why is that? Well, because like, it, was, it wasn't, it was kind of like a long time ago, like not probably like a year, two mm -hmm. years. I had this really, really weird nightmare, and nightmare, and it was kind of weird. And like, my head went back, and like, it was just creepy. It was kind, of. kind of scared you, and that's okay, you know. I was like I think five guys. Yeah. I was five. But it's totally know. normal. We have and some in traditions hand. coming in. Okay, let's There's hear them. Carving pumpkins and eating pizza. <gasps> Ooh, I like that. Uh, pick up Halloween bags from your neighbors. Nice. Um, we have let's see, put on a play about Halloween <gasps> and dress up. That's fun. Oh, that's a fun one. Um, they also, um, let's see. Riley says, um, Mom makes the costumes. Nice, Riley. You you are cr rocking it creatively this uh, this holiday. I love it. Um, and making monster themed food. Ooh, I want to hear more about the monster themed food because that sounds like fun. Maybe we could maybe we could do that tonight, Alice. Yeah. Um, there is something that some. Halloween, I like it, but it's not my favorite holiday because I'm the more person who doesn't like scary stuff. Even though movies aren't scary, I still don't like them. But um, Alice is a person, so that's not entirely true. She doesn't like scary movies, but this is a young woman who, the minute Halloween is over, is already planning her next Halloween costume. So Yes. We are Halloween fans, just not of scary Halloween. Okay, so we're just getting, we're, I was trying to kind of get Alice's uh, paint. We're going to try to fan our paint a little bit to help it dry. So just do that for a second or two. We've got all our markings on. Next, we're going to put on some googly eyes. All right, my, ready? Can we, are you guys going to name your monster? Because my name 
My guy's name is going to be Jimmy. Jimmy the, the monster. Okay, so let me give you a little bit of, and this, this part's easy. You're going to take your Elmer's glue, just do a little bit of a dab. Oh, hopefully, there it goes. I didn't have it all the way open. You know, just enough to kind of get the good, a good surface on the bottom of your eye ball. And you, your frame could have one eye as a, you know, lots of monsters have one eye or it could have two. I'm going to give mine two. Like, um, Zoe? Just kind of put it at the top. Like there. on the green monster from mm -hmm. Mike. Mike, Mike right? Mike yeah. what, Wazowski, is it, was that his name? Yeah, yeah I think so. So we're just going to glue our eyeballs on, put them on where really wherever on the frame you want to. You're it's a monster, so it could have like 10 eyes. But we're going to give ours two. Mine guy is so cute. Yours is cross-eyed. Yeah, I like my people. All right. So, here's here's the progress we're making. We've got our eyes on. Looking good. Mine you can see is yeah. cross-eyed. So, your oh, paint's yeah. probably still a little wet, so we're going to let that sit and dry and we're going to start working on the things we're going to glue on the back. So um, those are two elements. I'm actually gonna push my frame aside a little bit just to like give it some more time to dry. And you're gonna take your foam sheet next, okay? Oh, can I move? And um, I'm gonna try to get kids. Um, it's always good for you to work with uh, safety scissors if you have them, or if, if you find the foam is hard to cut, have your, uh, have a grown up use kind of sharper scissors. And this is the fun part because you can make teeth however you want to make teeth, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm just, there is a template uh, online um, for this project, but I'm just going to kind of make the teeth as I want to make the teeth. So you need about, I would say, three inches to cover the gap um, inside your frame here, okay? Um, so we're just going to start, I'm just going to start basically, I'm going to cut trying, start cutting triangles. And you want to, it's nice because you want to keep one edge flat. Um, so that we can glue on that edge. And then the other side, Mine you're just gonna- sticky foam. It is, we are using, ours is sticky foam, has sticky on the back, but we're not gonna use the sticky part. You wanna leave the paper on the back, okay? So you see, I'm just cutting out um, basically triangles, but I'm leaving, sorry, I'm trying to get oriented, um, but I'm leaving an edge that's gonna stay. So that's what we're gonna use to attach to the back of our frame. My guy's not gonna have four teeth. Oh. No, Alice. Oh, okay. okay, you can do it however. You're right. Mommy shouldn't have creativity. Ha <laughs> ha. Comes in all shapes and sizes. There's no right or wrong way to do it. My guy's like a baby. So, so like I'm just making, tiny. they kind of look like mountains, um, but leaving that edge at the top, right? So I'm just kind of making some mountains. So I'm going to give mine, I think, four teeth. And you're going to actually cut out two of these, okay? You're going to need. So um, there's my teeth. Let me make sure I made it big make, enough. I did good. You don't have to make them in one whole thing. You can do it like me. Mm -hmm. Alice is just cutting out individual teeth. So that will work too. So what I'm going to do now, because I need two sets of these mm -hmm. teeth, I'm going to use the first set I cut here as a template for mm -hmm. my next set. Okay. So I'm just going to take this mm -hmm. and put it on the bottom edge of my frame or foam rather, and I'm just gonna use it to cut out um, my next set of teeth. And I actually found it easier to just kind of do that. And this way, I'm just using it to shape the rest, okay? And awesome. I'm kind of a genius. Um, have you guys, if you're going into school or doing virtual school, um, have you guys been like making like if you have art as a special or like something you do in the middle of the day? Do you um like have you been making like special Halloween stuff? Because in art class this week for me, I've been to it on Thursday or Thursday or Friday. I yeah, it was on Thursday. I made a monster with my name. Ooh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, so we I like wrote that. Our, our names, then we folded the paper in half, and I traced it out, and then we had to write it again, and then we got to decorate it any way I, we wanted, and I made it a two-headed monster. Very cool. My monster right. is a
Okay, so I've got my two sets of teeth. I'm gonna set those down. Next, we're gonna take some chenille stems or pipe cleaners, whatever you wanna call them, and probably get like four or five, okay? I already oh. went to. So pick out your colors. Where I'm gonna use kind of an array of colors here. And this part's kind of fun. You're gonna take the pipe cleaner and you're gonna wrap it around your finger in a, in a uh, swirl, I'm just like that, different. okay? I'm doing something. That's fine. You can do, if you wanna do something different, Alice is doing something different. And you're gonna leave the end just kind of flat because you want something that you can, you can use to glue. And then you kind of gently pull it off of your finger and you have hair, monster hair. And the other thing I recommend doing is taking the, the tip of the squiggly part and just kind of folding it in. Cause those ends of pipe cleaners can be, and chenille stems can be a little pricky. I call them the prickly. Um, so you're gonna do that with your different colors and just kind of repeat the same thing, okay? And then we're gonna use these. We're gonna attach all these to the back of our monster frame when we're all done. And I need, I'm using all purple just so it matches my monster. And what I'm doing, I am twisting them together and then I'm curling it up kind of like mm -hmm. in books. You might see a ladybug kind of like oh. antennas like that. Yeah. Any questions, Lindsay, or is everybody doing okay? Following along. Do you want they are doing good, but um, Lena commented that hers has yellow teeth. <laughs> You know, it'd be another fun idea for this is to use glow in the dark paint. So that could be for like some of the spots or something. That could be fun too. Um, well, let me tell another joke. Okay, you tell, I'm um, here, before you tell that joke, I wanna show everybody the next step. So we've got to wrap up here soon so they can move on to the next project. Okay, so I've got my guy. Now I still have some wet paint. So I wanna be a little bit careful about how, um, you know, how I'm holding it. Um, but relatively dry, so I don't feel too scared. We're gonna take this middle part out now, okay? So this, this face paper that's in the frame, we're gonna take it out. So if you flip your frame over, there are these little black um, knobs here. You're gonna wanna bend them up. They bend up. What? Mm -hmm. um, and that can be hard. Uh, one trick to do is if, you're, if your parents or caregiver has um, some kind of like a credit card or an ID, you can slip it under and then use that to fold it up. That works sometimes too. Um, but there, you can also just do it with your fingers. So you're gonna pop that out, okay? We're gonna just throw that away. And then bend those things back. Um, you can use them later if you wanna put a picture in uh, to hold the picture in. But we're gonna bend those back so they're not in our way. And I then, help. okay, let me help Alice here one second. I'm gonna try, ooh, I'm trying not to. No, no, don't worry, I can't do that. All right. And remember, if you do get uh, paint somewhere on the on the front of your frame that you don't like, you can always paint over it, right? Cause acrylic paint. Yep, so we got Alice's out. Hold on, Alice, I'm gonna fold yours back. Yay. Okay, now those are kind of sharp and, ooh, sharp and pointy. Don't worry. Um, so do be careful. All right, and then you just kind of want to hold it up. I'm actually going to use. Um, you can use a stick. And you can use Elmer's glue for this. I'm going to use a glue gun just because we have to move a little more quickly here. Yeah, sure. But what I'm going to do now is um, take the hot glue, and I'm going to go with the front of my foam here. Okay, on the front of my foam, I'm just going to put hot glue here on the top edge because that top edge is going to go um on the back of my frame so i'm going to come back over to the back of my frame and i'm going to now put that top edge down just on the top of my frame like that i know what i want okay so when you turn it over it looks like that got it okay. and you're going to do the same thing for the bottom but you're going to make your teeth point up instead of down okay so i'm going to get my glue on my teeth We had a request from Tony for another joke. All right, Alice, serve it up. Um, what do witches put on to go trick or treating? Trick, trick or treating. What do witches put on to go trick or treating? Okay. 
So while we're waiting on answers, Alice, I'll help you with your teeth in a second. Next, so I've got both my teeth on now, you see? And that's what it looks like on the front. That's what it looks like on the back, all yeah, right? You see, we have three. Next, I'm gonna put uh, start putting my hair on. So this part's really easy. Um, you take your squirrely chenille stems and you're just gonna put on this flat part that you made, you're gonna put some uh, glue there. And again, you can use Elmer's glue for this. I'm just using a hot glue gun to kind of keep us moving along today because it dries a little bit faster. Ouch, that's a little hot. Woo. See, that's why you let make parents do that. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna get all my hair on. So I'm gonna glue them on the back. And um, if they're not facing the right direction, we can fix that later. I'm just gonna get them all on there real quick and then I'll help Alice with hers. We've had two um, answers come in, a okay. broom and a costume. Oh, good answers, but not the answer we were looking for. Alice, do you want to share? So let's repeat repeat the joke so everybody hears it again. What do witches put on to go trick or treating? Okay, what's the answer? It is mascara. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I've got all my hair on, scary hair, and I'm gonna help Alice get hers on. Um, with your frame, you should have gotten a little um, peg. I actually used mine for another one, so I don't have an extra. But no, she used mine and I yeah. stole okay. hers. You should have gotten a little peg with your frame. You can put that in the back and then you can use it to prop up your frame. So kind of sits there nicely without anyone having to hold it. So that's awesome. There's my frame. Please, I'm gonna help Alice finish hers, um, but we're gonna seed the table to our friends, Ashley and Russell, who are gonna take you through their cool projects, the clothespin um, scary ant creatures and the monster slime. And uh, we just thank you so much. Be sure to share your monster frame creations at hashtag make it with Michaels and hashtag Michaels classes. Um, we've had a great time. Happy Halloween, everyone. And here come Ashley and Russell. Hey everyone, I am Ashley. This is my son, Russell. Russell, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old. All right, almost nine though, right? Yes. Yeah, birthday coming up. All right, um, did you guys have so much fun doing the monster frame? I thought that one was super cute. I loved all the polka dots and I loved all the different colors that everyone was using too. All right, so for our first project, we are going to be doing some clothespins characters. Um, so we worked on some of these last night. My other little one was able to help us out. He's four, so he was not able to join us today. But just to give you an idea of some of the projects that we'll be doing today, we have our clothespin characters. So I don't know if you want to show Lindsay on the, there we go, here we go. So we have, we're gonna make a ghost. We have a pumpkin. Um, William did a little monster last night with googly eyes and his version of a smiley face, which is super cute. So we're gonna be working on some of those today. <laughs> so for this project, you are going to need clothespins. These come in different sizes. So you can do little clothespins, big clothespins. I've seen some that are like this big, which are amazing. So if you have like a giant candy bag that you're doing. You're also going to have um, some paint. So we have, oh, bless you, buddy, thank you. We have um, green, purple, and orange 
that we are going to be using today, but you could use really any colors that you want. So I have some others here that we might get a chance to dip into as well. There was also a template on the um, class's website that had some shapes. So we'll be using some of these, but really you can either print this out and cut them and use these, you can draw your own. Um, so we'll walk you through some of the shapes that you can use. We will also be using foam. So I have this nice big stack of foam here. These are adhesive backs. So these have the sticky on them, similar to what Jess was using a little bit ago. But if you don't have adhesive back, that's fine because we also have foam glue that you can use if you don't have the sticky back or if you still have an adult that wants to help you with um, the hot glue gun, you can do that as well. And then I think finally we have our wiggle eyes. So these are also adhesive wiggle eyes. So we're gonna peel the stickers off of the back of them and stick them on. But again, you can also use just regular glue. And then just to decorate, we have some markers. So I think the first thing that we will do is get our clothes pins. I'm using paper plates just because um, I want to help sort of contain the mess a little bit because since clothes pins are small, sometimes the paint likes to go a lot of other places besides the clothes pin. Um, so we will use paper plates. You can also use parchment paper. You can use newspaper, whatever you guys want to be using on your surface to make sure that that paint sort of stays contained. We had an accident last night where some of the paint got on my tablecloth and that was that was not not fun, right? <laughs> All right. Okay, here, why don't we, since we know that these are already open, we'll just use these. So do you wanna use orange again? Okay, All right, so we're gonna use orange. Do you have a joke to tell? Yes. Is it appropriate? Yes. All right. All right. Russell has a joke that he'd like to tell. What's a skeleton's favorite instrument? Oh, what is a skeleton's favorite instrument? Do we have any answers? Here, let's wait and see if we got any answers. In the Q&A. In the Q&A. That's right. I think I know the answer, but uh, I'm going to wait. We have a um, trombone. <gasps> yes. A trombone. Man, Riley is on a roll today. I love it. Well, wait. Yeah? It has two answers for it. Oh, yeah? What's the other one? The other one is the exact, well, xylophone. The xylophone. The xyl maybe the xylophone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So we are going to do, um, okay. So why don't we go ahead and put a little bit of paint onto our plates. You don't need a lot because, again, closed pens are kind of small. So I think last night we used what? A nickel size? Yes. So if you guys know. Let me use my right hand. All right, so I'm just using a little bit of paint. Don't need a whole lot for the clothes pins. So Jackson has a joke. Oh, yeah. I think I might There's not an answer. So Jackson, you'll have to type in your answer so I can say it. But what does the baby bird say on Halloween night? <laughs> Tricker peep yeah that's what i was gonna say in two seconds what's the answer oh we don't know Not it's yet. an open-ended yep okay so for the clothes pens you can either use a paintbrush or you can use one of these um foam sticks too i kind of like the foam because um the application goes on a little bit more um quickly so I'm gonna do uh, two purple and two green while Russell works on the orange. Trick or tweet. <gasps> Trick or tweet. Uh, I mean, I love it. That does make sense. It does make sense. It's pretty good. I like it. All right, and we're gonna do all sides. And that's what we did last night. Yeah. So we do want to be careful because um, you will most likely get paint on your fingers. So make sure you have like a paper towel or something around just so you can wipe your hands off before you touch other things. Again, we had a little bit of paint kind of go everywhere last night. So we, we learned our lesson. And now I just don't care if I touch paint. <laughs> okay, now you're all right. 
Okay. And then you also want to make sure that you get inside your little clothespins as well. So these little pieces inside the foam is actually great because you can kind of just like shove it in there with the paint. Good. Yeah, it's going on really nice, which is good because last night. Oh, thanks, Deb. Got some wipes. Yeah, baby wipes are great for getting paint off of fingers. I'm also wearing an apron and Russell's in a shirt where we don't mind if it gets paint on it. So <laughs> we we came prepared. Well, can I tell what, um, them what we're wearing? Oh, yes. Russell, would you like to tell them what we're wearing today? Well, <laughs> my mom's wearing a witch and I'm a black cat. Yes. So I'm wearing a witch headband and a cape. And then Russell is my is my cat because witches usually like to have cats. Did any of you guess that we were gonna wear that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably. Well, Lena said she likes your costume. Ah, thanks, Lena. But this isn't what we're wearing tonight, right? Well, I might wear this tonight, but what are you going as tonight, Russell? The Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. <laughs> this is the first year that you're going as something spooky. Normally you go as a- Don't. I'm just saying a superhero. There's nothing wrong with saying superhero. I thought you were going to say something else. Okay. What were you last year? Uh, I'm pretty sure the Black Knight. The Black Knight from Fortnite, right? Yes. Which is funny because Alice was a Fortnite character. Alice, who was just in here. And you were a Fortnite character last year. <laughs> who was she? she? She had a strawberry on her shirt. I don't know. Oh, um, whoever that it's it I think it's a girl skin mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure I know okay it. um Tiffany has a joke oh Tiffany let's hear it what's a pumpkin's favorite subject mm. so send in your answers because I don't have one either oh what's a pumpkin's favorite subject I don't know let's keep painting buddy what one of them said what do we need <laughs> Okay. He explained that like. Okay. All right. So we got two of our clothespins done in purple. Oops, I missed a spot. Does it matter if we missed a spot? It doesn't matter. Stim. I like. Stim. I. <laughs> Twenty years ago, that wouldn't have been a joke. That would have existed. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna switch um, sponges so I can do my green ones now. So I have my purples and they're gonna be drying. Do you, that's fine, you wanna choose the white? Okay, now I'm gonna start on my green. Green, 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 green. The nice thing about these clothespin characters is that they are going to be great to use for treat bags. And I know some people probably aren't trick-or-treating this year, but treat bags are still a fun way to get your Halloween candy. Or if you have other things besides candy, you can put other things in there. Like we saw what, bubbles, um, stickers, pencils, fun erasers, funny glasses. Russell's little brother came home with a whistle from one of his classmates last night, which it's we were all very excited to hear all day <laughs> and all night. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm trying to remember a joke. Okay. Thomas has a joke. Oh, let's hear it, Thomas. What's a bear without teeth? A bear without- A gummy bear? Oh. oh. That's a good one. I like that one. I, I love gummy bears. I mean, William loves gummy worms. He does, yes. And some, for some reason, he doesn't like gummy bears. You know, to each their own. Everyone's candy preferences are their own. And that's a good question. What's your favorite candy? Mm -hmm. I'm more into chocolate, so probably um, Hershey Kisses and um, uh, you really like Nestle Crunch too, don't you? Yeah, Nestle Crunch it has like the crunchy bits inside. Oh right, and I like um, uh, what what are those little 
things you put in your mouth and you chomp on them and then that's all candy <laughs> <laughs> what? nerds no uh, uh starburst starbursts mm, i do like starburst what about you what's your favorite candy everyone we have candy corn and tootsie rolls mm, i love tootsie rolls a pumpkin patch sour patch um, so keep, keep painting them. Okay. Cool. There, paint all over me. All right. So while we're waiting for more candy answers to come in, I'm finished with my clothespin. So I'm going to set those to dry. And then I'm going to pick out my foam colors. So I think for my foam, let's see, where did our, oh, our templates are over here. So the templates that we have um, are ghost, pumpkin, and then this square is for like a Frankenstein monster face. So. Hey, mommy. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, sir. Why don't you tell a joke? Oh, I don't know any jokes. What was the jokes I used to set in the past? Like, I don't know. Year? You used to tell terrible jokes. We have more candy with lollipops, chocolate, um, Starburst. It's just I love lollipops and Starburst are some of my favorites. I like more fruit flavored candy. I know you said you like chocolate, but I'm more into fruit. I also like sour candy. Okay. Are you finished? Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna set these aside to dry as well. Ooh, okay. I have one, one thing to say. What's a zombie's favorite food? What is a zombie's favorite? Actually, no, not that. Okay. <laughs> What's a teacher's favorite food? What's a teacher's favorite food? Do you want to start cutting out yours, Russell? And if they don't have the pattern, can you show how they can draw it? Absolutely. I will show you both ways. So I'm going to do a ghost and a um, monster face. Russell, are you going to do the pumpkin? No. You're going to do the square too? Okay. Remy has a joke. Uh, why can't Elsa hold a balloon? Why can't <laughs> Elsa hold a balloon? Because she won't let it go. Because uh, she will, let, she it will go. let it go. Oh. Uh, oh, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I got a joke. What's a, what's a teacher's um, favorite food? All right, what is it? Wait. You already asked it. Why don't you tell us the answer? Okay, the answer would be, um, would be what? No, uh, uh, square meat. Square meat? <laughs> square meat. All right, why don't we lay off the jokes? All right. <laughs> All right, so you're working on the square. Um, I will go ahead and cut out the pumpkin then as well so that we have one of each. Do I need to get three? We only need to cut out one shape. It depends on what you're doing. So if you're doing, these are just the templates. So are you gonna do the same shape for all three of yours or are you gonna do different shapes? Square. So then you just need one square. You don't need to cut out all three squares because oh, okay. we're gonna trace it on the back. All right. So we had guesses to your jokes of Smarties or apples. Oh, I like Smarties. Smarties is a good one. You should do Smarties next time you tell that joke. What's a teacher's favorite food, Smarties? You get it? Uh, yeah. All right, there it is. Okay, so um, <laughs> I have another joke for you. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what I learned it at school from uh, from the chocolate milk box. From the chocolate milk boxes. Okay, Great. so um, what's an astronaut's favorite food? What? You probably let let's wait a little longer. Okay. While we're waiting, um, so I am picking out three different pieces of foam. I have purple, green, and orange. Again, you can use any different colored foam you want. If you don't have foam, you can also use construction paper okay, this or is anything else like that. This is the answer to uh, astronaut's favorite food, launch meat. Launch meat. That's good. We had a moon munch. I like moon munch. Space. And Mars. Right, let's focus. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the template and we're going to, on the back of our foam, so we don't get pen lines, we're going to trace out the shape that we want. So I'm gonna move this so you can see it a little bit better. So I have my template and I have my piece of foam. I'm gonna take off and use my marker. You can also use a pen or a pencil. And I'm just going to trace this. And if you don't have the template, this is where you can just freehand. So I'll show you as well. I'm going to do a ghost real quick too, just with the template so we can see it. And then also our pumpkin. All right, so that would, is what it would look like on the back of the foam. So my monster, I want to do green. So I'm going to now cut out on the foam my green monster face. And then I'm going to do a purple ghost. And for those that said they didn't have the template or wanted to know, I can just quickly show you how you might draw a ghost on your foam. So ghosts sort of have like the top half looks almost like an oval. So that would be sort of like the head and then the bottom kind of actually looks almost like a nose. So it has like three little lines like this. So this is sort of, if you didn't have the template, how you might draw your ghost. Did you have a question? With scissors, you have scissors right there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna cut out my ghost. And like Jess said earlier, you know, you always want to make sure that you're using safety scissors, or if you don't have safety scissors, uh, make sure that you're using either adult supervision or have a grown up help you in using your scissors to cut out your shapes. Okay. okay. So now I have my ghost, which is purple. I have my square. I'm going to do the pumpkin too, so I can just show all three. Let me see if there's go. Oh, there they are. I have some. Okay, give me one second. I'm going to do this one real quick. So we have a pumpkin too to work off of. I'm going to have a green pumpkin. I guess makes them kind of look more like an apple, right? My jack-o'-lanterns are going to be green. All right. Now we have all three of our shapes. Great. Yes, and we have my scissors. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to put the lid back on my marker because I don't need it anymore for right now. I'm going to put that to the side. And now we can bring our clothespins back. They should be dry. All right, so for my monster, I'm going to use my purple clothespin, but I'm going to use my green face. Wait, do you have to make like put three of them? No, just depends on how many you want to cut out. Okay. All right, so I peeled off the back of my foam and I'm going to stick it to the top part. So this part, I'm gonna stick it here like this so that when we 
pinch down on the bag, the face is still up at the top, okay? And then for my ghost, I'm gonna use my green clothespin and I'm going to stick him to the top like this. A little wet. All right. So the next step for us, so Russell's going to work on his, he's doing an orange one. Can I use one of your orange ones for the pumpkin? Yes. Okay. This one. Okay. We have people making vampires and Ooh. monsters. Oh, I love that. I want to hear a joke from someone. I'm on this right now. I said I want to hear a joke from someone. I'm gonna wipe off some of your paint, buddy. You got a lot of extra paint on there. Cool. Okay. All right. I have wipes over here. Oh. So then we're gonna put on our googly eyes. So as I said, these should be the ones that have the adhesive backing. So you should be able to peel off the back of those googly eyes. If you don't, or you're not able to, you can also use glue, because sometimes it's a little hard to get that started. I'm gonna try to zoom in so you can see. But there should be a sticker that just peels off that back so that this part is sticky still, and then this is the back of that sticker. And then we're going to put our googly eyes on our creatures. I like using different sizes of googly eyes because my monsters look a little crazy. My creatures look a little crazy. But you can use the same color. We also have different colored googly eyes. So if you don't have white, if you have like purple or blue, or green, so it's going to take too long. I think in the interest of time, I'm just going to do a little bit of hot glue. Okay. What can you do um, about the part of the foam that's not on the clothespin that is still sticky? So you can um, put some paper on the back of it, or you can. Um, Cut out the piece that doesn't touch and you can stick it and then cut around it like this, like this, so that you're putting paper on the sticky part, but then cutting it to shape. Look at my monster. He, Ooh. his eye, one eye is big and one eye is small. That's right. Okay, so we got monsters. Russell, since you've already put your monster eyes on, why don't you go ahead and start on the next step and take the markers and start to decorate while I finish up putting our googly eyes on. What is it? Jalen made a bat. Ooh, I love that. That's good. I love the creativity. I know we provided the template, but I love hearing all of the other things that you guys came up on your own to do. Okay. All right, so now I'm ready to decorate. So I'm going to take a do a green, I'm gonna do a darker green marker. And on my green clothespin, I'm just gonna do some stripes. Ooh, that's a scary face. <laughs> well, first off, 
This thing is his mouth. Oh, yeah. It's a scary mouth. That's his eyebrows. Good. You can see that he's mad. I think for my monster, I'm going to give him some eyebrows. And then a spooky mouth like this. And then maybe he has some like funky hair going on. Yeah. And then for his body, I'm going to do polka dots. How are you guys decorating yours? Are you doing stripes or polka dots? Do you have spooky faces? Those look really good. Good job, Russell. And then for my green pumpkin, I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a different. I'm going to do orange and he's going to have like a surprised face. Actually, like that. Ooh, can I have another one that? We're getting ready to wrap up, buddy. We got another craft that we have to get to going too. And then finally, I think my ghost, he's going to have a spooky mouth. Russell, do you want to help me hold up all of our projects? Uh, yeah. Okay. So these are the ones that I did. They're the couple that Russell worked on. Well, this one was the old one. Yeah. So then the last Wait. step is to get your treat bags. These are empty, sadly. I wish they were filled with treats, but maybe later. <laughs> and then you can fold over the top once they're filled. Buddy, and Russell just showed you how you can put your little monster clothes pins or spooky clothes pins on your treat bag. And then this can be for your own treats or you can hand these out to your friends or to your neighbors if they're coming over. Yeah. There we go. All right. So we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup. Were there any questions while we're cleaning up, Lindsay, that I can help answer? No questions, just uh, what they were creating. They had ghosts and candy, pumpkins, monsters. Oh, great. I loved my ghosts from last night, those were cute. So if you guys are sticking around for the next craft, some of the stuff that you can keep out. So we will still use our wiggle eyes if you wanna keep those out. We also will be using potentially some larger wiggle eyes. So do you wanna help clean up your side too? Thank you. Here. Okay, so this next craft that we're doing is kind of like a two part craft. So first we're going to start with um, the monster jar. Mm -hmm. So we have these little slime jars. They're plastic, have a little screw top lid. If you don't have something like this, you can use even like a little mason jar you have a mason jar or what am I go ah. if you have a Tupperware that your mom or dad don't mind you using you can also decorate your Tupperware as well for your slime jar Ooh. just basically anything that we want to use to help hold the slime that we're getting ready to make this is a yes. block bag Oh yeah, you could use a Ziploc bag as well. You could decorate a, a Ziploc bag for sure. All right, so the first step for this, Russell, what color do you want for your monster lid? Do you want to do purple? Yes. Okay. We also have other colors. So we have 
Oh, and likes light and uh, yellow and red and blue. Oh, I kind of like this light blue too. Oh, lots of colors. Thanks, Lina. I read chat. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, why don't you help me, buddy? All right. So, we're going to take the lid. We're going to take it off of our jar. And we're going to put it upside down onto the back of our foam. Thank you. And then similar to what we did with the last craft, we're going to trace the top of our jar lid. And trace the top of our jar lid. so that we get a circle on the back of our foam sheet. And then we're also going to do a strip for the sides. So I'm going to put my lid on the edge of my foam piece just to mark sort of where the edge is. And then that's the strip that I'm going to cut as well. So then I'm going to cut the strip for the sides. Yeah, I'm just doing this one and then you can do yours, buddy. And then I'm gonna cut out the circle for the top of my jar lid. Perfect, and then let's switch. Here's yours. Great. So while Russell's cutting his out, we're going to put the top onto the top. So this again is adhesive foam, so I should just be able to peel this piece of paper off. If you don't have adhesive foam or if you're using construction paper or something else, you can use glue or tape. I'm going to press that on good and tight. And then I'm going to take the strip that we cut and I'm going to do the same thing for the side. I'm take off the sticky part, and the trash to the side, and then I'm going to stick it on the side of the lid. And then I'm just going to very slowly press it into the side and work my way around. I'm going to repeat it again in just a second so that everyone has a chance to look at it again. So that when you're finished, the top of your lid should be covered. So we're gonna do it again, just so everyone can see. So I'm gonna help Russell, yep. Putting it on the top, good. So we put, oh, not that side. We wanna do it on, it's a good call though. So not on the side that is going to screw into the jar, you wanna put it on the top top. So put it on the top there. And then Russell's taking off the back of his foam piece. All right, and we're going to put the edge. Yep, there, we're gonna press down and then just very slowly work our way around the edge of the lid. Can you help me press while I yeah. turn it? Thank you, Ed. That way it stays on the side. We're getting a good seal on that sticky part all the way around. Awesome. Good job. All right, so now we're going to work on some fun part. We're going to give him a mohawk. 
So I have All right. some really yes. big fluffy chenille stems or pipe cleaners. These are like monster sized. If you don't have these, you can absolutely use regular sized ones. We have different kinds that have different shapes. Some are sort of like these sparkly ones. Or if you have pom-poms, you can use pom-poms. What are some other things that they can use for hair on the top of their monster lid? Maybe like yarn yeah. or fur. Yes. Like if they have some fur strips. Really anything just to give them kind of that like spooky look on the top of his hair. So we're going to take, what color do you want? Here, choose one of these. What color do you want? Black. I like it. Like black. Yeah. I'm going to use this kind of purple and green one. And we want to basically bend this in thirds. So if you have a full one and we know half is in the middle, thirds are going to be sort of on the either side of where half is. So if I have the full length here and this is half, my thirds are going to be sort of here and here. Like this? Here. Okay. There you go. And we're going to bend it to sort of create like a mohawk look. And really you can shape it however you want because this is, yeah, give me one second. Because this is gonna be the top for his hair. So if you wanna do it just big, if you wanna do it squiggly, do it any way you want. You just want to make sure it's going to fit on the top of the jar lid, sort of like this. All right, and then we're going to put that to the side. Do you want me to help you with yours? What shape do you want yours to be in? Like spiky hair? Spiky hair. All right, so we're going to do kind of like these, like this. So it kind of looks like a big caterpillar. <laughs> Spooky. Be honest, in, when it's black, it looks like um, a spider. It does kind of look like a furry spider, doesn't it? All right. I mean, and so we're gonna set it is. <laughs> we're gonna set that to the side because then we're also going to work on some monster horns. So Ooh. for this one, you're gonna use um, the smaller chenille stems, and again, you can use any color. Um, if you want to do it sparkly. They can be two of the same if you want both horns to be matching or they can be separate ones. So I'm going to do these purple sparkly ones. And for the horns, you just wanna shape it kind of into a horn shape. So I'm bending mine in half and I'm sort of pinching it at the end. And then I'm just shaping them so that when they come off the top, they're gonna look a little bit like horns. I can, yes, give me one second. And then just to be able to hold it, I'm gonna twist the ends like this. So that the ends are together at the end. And then I'm gonna do the same on this guy. I'm gonna sort of pinch him in the middle I'm gonna sort of bend them and then I'm gonna twist. Hold on. All right, so then I should have two horns. All right, Russell, what color are you gonna use? You're gonna use green sparkly, like it. Do you want your horns to be the same shape as mine? Long horns. Yeah, like long horns. So just like this, just leave them kind of like this. Maybe we can like twirl them around. Yeah, that's what I would like to do. Great. So I'm just going to wrap this around my finger and make it sort of like curly horns. Springy. Springy corns. Um, question. Yes. Okay. Okay. So. Russell is wanting to do these sort of curly cue horns. I think that's kind of cool. All right, 
So this is where we're going to use the hot glue gun or just regular glue if you have it. If you're using a hot glue gun, make sure that this is the adult part of your craft. If you don't have an adult right now, you may want to just save this part for later. But we're going to take the end of our horns and we're just going to glue them to the top of our lid. And you want to hold them in place just for a little bit so that glue has a chance to dry. So I'm going to hold this sort of right here while it's drying. We have a comment that yours could look also like a bunny jar. <gasps> It could. I was not intentionally trying to make it look like a bunny jar, but maybe it is. Oh, it does kind of look like bunny ears. <laughs> oh, maybe I want it to be Easter instead of Halloween. Yeah. It's a monster bunny. Oh, like did anyone ever read no. the book Banicula? No. We read, do you, did you read that book in school, Lindsay? No. Oh my gosh, it's about a vampire bunny. <laughs> which I think is very appropriate for right now. So I'm gonna press my other horn in as well so that I'm getting some fun uh, bunny ear horns. Probably I'm not allowed to use the hot glue gun. You are not allowed to use the hot glue gun, you're correct. So then for my monster hair, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put a little bit here. I, yeah. And I'm gonna put a little bit here. I can tell that you couldn't literal, um, uh, you made it um, <laughs> Easter themed. Okay. Cause fluffy. I mean, this would make sense because it looks like a spider, but fluffy. Oh my goodness. Rainbow? Yeah. No. All right, so now we're gonna do yours real quick too. So I'm gonna do a little bit of glue here. I know it's right. It is a bunny jar. That's all right. Maybe we can still make it a spooky bunny jar. How about that? I know. All right. And then we're going to do our other one here. Well, yours is definitely not a bunny jar, right? Can I see what you look at? No. We're almost done with the top. So Russell, why don't you help me out? And while I'm holding this, will you go and get me two more things of foam that we're gonna use for the teeth? You can pick out which colors you want. All right. You guys, these are looking super awesome. What colors did you all use for yours? And did any of you do bunnies like me? <laughs> Stay back. All right, what colors did you pick out? I picked out red and black. Ooh, nice. Black is for me. Black is for you? Okay. Riley is using black. Black, good. The only one I have so far. All right. So for the teeth, we are going to sort of freehand. Yeah. yeah, you can absolutely use paint if you don't have foam. This is really just creating your own jar. Um, so you can do whatever you have and whatever you want to use on it, whether it be paint, um, if you want to glue, just wiggle eyes all over it. If you wanna do buttons or pom-poms or yarn you can do all sorts of things so we're going to take our foam and we're going to just draw some teeth kind of like Jess did for her monster frame so i yeah the, the one who was just in here with her daughter alice and so i'm going to take mine and i'm just going to make some like spiky v's i'm left-handed so i'll show you guys in just a second i'm just going to make some like spiky v's and then I want to do some bottom teeth as well. So I'm going to do little bottom teeth. It's okay. This was the one that I wanted. All right. And so I'm going to cut these out real quick.
These teeth kind of look like mountains, spiky mountains. Look at this. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll show them my design. You want to show them your design? All right. And don't worry about the pink part. Just worry about <laughs> the black part. I think they can do it however they want. So the, the black part is the teeth I'm going to do. Okay. We also have yellow, orange, blue, um, and no teeth. No teeth. It has blue ears. And blue ears. I like that. Here, Russell, help me. Will you go ahead and tear off the back of that piece for me? Sure. All right, so Russell's going to help me out so that we can wrap up these monster jars and then we're going to get on with the slide. And you're going to help me too. <laughs> well, absolutely. We help out each other because we're a team. Because teamwork makes a dream work. Yes. All this right. This one is the pokiest. The pokiest. Pokey. So I'm going to take my and jar and I'm going to just really quickly screw on my lid so I can see where the lid is. Oh wait, you're and then, doing that for me. Oh, I can. Is this all right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put his teeth right underneath where his hair is on the jar itself. And then I'm going to do his bottom teeth right underneath. I mean, those are small bottom teeth, too big top teeth. Aren't okay. your top teeth bigger than your bottom teeth though? Right. Yeah. Even though I'm wearing retainers. Yes, you are wearing your retainers. All right. So then we have some monster teeth. And then the last thing we're going to do is get some googly eyes. So here again, you can use foam glue, regular Elmer's glue. I'm going to use the glue gun still just in the interest of time. And I'm going to do his eyes on the side of the lid here. So exciting. I can't wait for, <laughs> for the whole thing of slime. I know. That is the fun part. When the slime comes in. Yeah. 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 All right. And hopefully we don't have to use glue. Oh, of course we're using glue. <laughs> I know. I know. So then here is Russell's finished monster jar. <gasps> chomp, chomp, chomp. That's right. I'm gonna set that to the side and I think we have time real quick to do the teeth on mine so that everyone can see sort of what some other teeth could potentially look like. For this one, I'm gonna do just like rounded teeth. Basically, she said no to my this side. And then I don't think he's going to have bottom teeth. Mine is just going to have top teeth. So, lid on my jar. And then maybe you will just have bottom teeth. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to peel this off real quick. Do my bottom teeth. And then give him my googly eyes and then we will be ready. Oops. Hey buddy, can you get that googly eye that I just dropped, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. And so here is my other. So we have two slime monster jars ready to go ready for slime which is coming up next so we are finished with our glue gun or glue oh thank you so we can move that to the side and for our slime we're going to need a few different things because we're making monster slime Nice. All right, so there's a few different ways to make slime. So we want you to use your, your favorite recipe. Um, I'm just, because I like easy things, am using this Elmer's Slime Starter Kit. It has the glue as well as the activating magic liquid inside. 
And then it also has a bunch of other things like glitter glue and things like that that you can use. But that's what we're going to be using Wait, today. Can I see the glitter? Not right now. So then if you don't have that, you can buy just the magic liquid by itself. If you have a different um, recipe that you like to use, you're more than welcome to do that. And then we have our clear and our solid glue. We're also going to be dyeing our monster slime. So we have a little bit of this green food coloring. You can also just use different colored glue. There's glitter glue, uh, glow in the dark glue as well. I think I thought we had a glow in the dark glue just to show, ah, here. So this is a glow in the dark magical activator. So um, lots of different ways to make the slime. We're going to use two bowls today. Ooh. One for me, one for you. That's right. Yay. Get to, Ooh, sorry, yes. guys. I get to make my own. <laughs> you do get to make your own. All right. And so our recipe, our recipe is going to be one bottle of the clear glue and then one bottle of the magical liquid, but again, use the recipe that you like to use. All right, so Russell, we're going to unscrew the top. Oh, like, cool. Yeah, and then we're just gonna pour it in. Not caring. Yeah, just pour it all in. <laughs> oh, yeah, ew. It's making some. Dude, noises. <laughs> Very good. Did you pour all yours in, Russell? Yeah. All of it's in? Okay. Do they have to use green? They do not have to use green. Um, they can use any color that they want of the food dye. It can be red or blue or purple. They don't have to use any at all if they just want it to be clear because we're gonna be mixing in a bunch of stuff into it as well. I think that's probably pretty good. So if you are using food dye, food dye you don't need a whole lot of because a little bit goes a long way and the more you use, um, the harder it's gonna to be to mix in. So we're gonna start with this. Oh, my scissors. I don't have any fingernails, so I need help <laughs> opening these up. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna use scissors just to open this up a little bit. <coughs> and instead of pouring it in, I'm going to use a craft stick just to dip into my food dye. Like this. And then I'm going to use that and just stir it into my glue. Ooh. And so this is kind of just trial and error. So you start with a little bit and you see how you like it. And see, I didn't use a whole lot and already this is looking really green. <laughs> Do you wanna use a little bit for you? Yeah. Okay, so one thing too that you wanna keep in mind is after you've dipped it into the glue, you don't wanna dip it back into the food dye because then you have glue in your food dye. So every time that you want to add a little bit more, use a fresh craft stick. So do you wanna dip yours in there? Great. Oh, good. All right, so Russell's gonna do his. I'm doing mine. We're mixing it up. It's getting exciting. Oh, and now it looks like black and Ooh. that's the color I like. All right, so you have a really dark green and mine is a little bit of a lighter green. Probably, right? be, probably because it's all squeezed together. Yeah, you do have a smaller bowl and mine's kind of a larger bowl. So I think yours is probably all concentrated together too. I love it. <laughs> I'm glad you do, buddy. <laughs> all right, so mixing it all up, looking good. All right, so then next we're going to add um, the magical liquid, which is gonna be what helps make our slime hard. Oh, here, you can use 
this paper plate. Good call. Food dye loves to get everywhere. So you wanna be very careful if you put it down that you're not putting it down right onto the surface of your table. Um, okay, so you wanna pour this into yours? Like all of it? Yes, like all of it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna pour mine. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Why is it now starting to become green? Okay, because you added more liquid to it. So your concentration. I'm gonna put some gloves on just so that since that we are working so cool. with food dye. That looks so cool. It does look cool. All right. Do you wanna help um, pour mine in too while I put gloves on? Uh, yeah, can I have gloves? Here, pour yours in and then we'll switch. What size activator are you using? So this is a 2.3 fluid ounce. If you get the larger one, you can usually just measure out, what did we say, two tablespoons? And that should be good. There should also be instructions as well on the bottle that says um, how many you should use for each amount of glue. So for instance, this one, I apologize, this is two teaspoons for every four ounces of glue. So if you're using an eight ounce bottle of glue, you would use four teaspoons. Okay. So, um, Did you pour mine in? Oh yeah. Okay, great. Someone said, does, does paint work? Does paint, yeah, I think paint would work too. Here you go. You wouldn't, you wanna use a whole lot. Wait, whoop. Oh, <laughs> glove, glove disasters. I don't, I don't even know why we're having them. Glove problems, or you don't know why we're using gloves? Gloves. Oh, you'll see. <laughs> it's going to be a fun surprise. Ugh. All right, so now take your craft stick again, and we're just going to stir in our activator. And you're gonna notice that it's getting um, kind of goopy in places and, and so, smaller and smaller. So you sort of wanna like scrape across the bottom and just make sure kind of like if you were making a cake that you get all of your slime batter mixed in. All the batter. Mixed in together. Oh, this is looking really gross. It's getting sticky, which is definitely what we want it to be. So we want that consistency to start getting thicker and more sticky. You can also, if you do have your hands, sort of use your hands to sort of make sure that you're getting it all. <laughs> Is it cold? Yeah. Ew! Should I, should, so. Yeah, just get in there. <laughs> what? I just look like I'm one of those, wait, let me get this off. It looks like, oh man, this is getting messy, guys. All right. So I feel like mine's in a pretty good place in terms of consistency. Russell, how's yours looking? Good. Good? All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to spread this out on a piece of parchment paper. Oh. So we have parchment paper, which is what, um, you know, you also use for, for making cake. For making cookies. Yep, yeah, we use these for making cookies at home. If you don't have parchment paper, I would recommend using a baking sheet as well. Just something that you can spread this out on. Put this aside for just one second. And can you show the <laughs> bottle of the activator again? Oh, absolutely. So this is what we used. It's called Elmer's Magical Liquid. There are other recipes that use um, other household products that we don't have with us today. So as I said, if you go to, um, I think it's elmers.com, they have a lot of different slime recipes that you can also use, or you can just get this fun little starter kit, which has sort of everything that you need, which is what I got. Oh yeah, Russell's showing off how messy his hands are. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put out the parchment paper. Russell, can you help me spread this out a little bit? Uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna put our parchment paper here. 
and looks like this. Okay. What if their slime is not getting thicker? Um, so if their slime is not getting thicker, I might recommend using a little bit more of the activator just as a ratio between glue and activator. Okay. Oh my gosh. Can I have mine? Here, we're going to start with mine because then we're going to do a show and tell first. So you want to get, oh my gosh, <laughs> all of your slime. <laughs> having a really good time with this. <laughs> you don't know how much I could like slime. And then we want to sort of like spread it out onto <laughs> the parchment. Oh my gosh. You guys don't know me, but I'm not one that likes mess. And this is definitely very messy. Yes. Okay, here, why don't you help me hold the parchment paper so I can get my hands off. Get, get out of here. You should get one of those things in this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like this thing the still is sticky and it it's here. all over. Here, you've done for me. And all right. Without the gloves. <laughs> I might have to actually get my hands dirty. Yeah. That's okay. I can do that too. No, why can't you just take off one of the things? All right. So what I'm going to do, First. I'm going to take off my gloves. Best laid plans. Those. And now we're going to add in some of our monster mix. So I have these um, fun pom poms that have little pieces of like confetti and stuff Where's in them. Give me a second. So we're going to start with mine. We're going to show them how to do it, and then you're going to do yours, okay? Yeah. All right, great. So this is the fun part because you can really mix anything in there. So uh, you can use pom poms, you can use beads if you have beads, you can do um, buttons. What are some other things that they might be able to add in? Wiggly eyes. Um, big eyes, like um, uh, like, uh, like paper, like little papers that stick up. Yeah, sure. Anything, just basically anything that that sticks into slime, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna add and won't dye in it. Like yeah. Sequins. Ooh, I love sequins or glitter. glitter. Yeah, glitter is a good one. <laughs> touch, 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 touch. Right. touch. So we're going to just sort of sprinkle this all out sort of oh, evenly right. right now. And then we're going to just roll it up. So you're okay with getting your hand dirty? I'm not, but here we are. I mean, I could put a little of it on you. You could if you wanted to. Yeah, but I don't want to risk getting in trouble. <laughs> So I think the fun thing is, is that because we're on the um, parchment paper, we really are just sort of like having a great time with this without making a whole lot of mess on, you know, your surface. You could use tin foil. Okay. So here is my slime right now. It is very slimy. We've got lots of monster, these sort of look like monster eyeballs now that they're all in the slime. What do you think, Russell? Is it good? Yeah. I just took off the slime that you used to have. Could you open up the monster jar for me, please? No. All right. So then our last step is putting it in our monster jar. So we're <laughs> gonna take that fun monster jar that we made earlier, and then we're Shit. going, <laughs> I'm gonna put our slime in it. <laughs> Russell is still very tickled by all of this. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love touching slime. I'm glad this is a good, a good for you, then, buddy. All right, and then we're gonna put our lid back onto our slime monster jar. Like, look, look how sticky it is. And now we have our monster Ugh. jar Ugh. with our monster slime. Look. All right, Russell, are you ready to do yours? Yeah. What are some of the I other things that cool. people are putting in theirs? Or do they have different colors? I mean, they could do that.
Here, let me spread it out for you and then you can add in what you want. Spread it out. I want to spread it out. Oh, yeah. So do you want to do pom-poms or would you like to use like wiggle eyes? I want all. You want all of it? Yeah. Master of chaos over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Google eyes, blue slime with glitter. Touch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> slime, slime, slime. You want some wiggle eyes? Slime. <laughs> wiggle eyes. Give me all of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all crazy. of it. All right, are you ready to mix it in? Yes. Great. While you're mixing it in, I'm going to open this here. Why don't we take your gloves off so that you can mix it in without it getting stuck on your gloves? Oh, okay. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Oh, how do I do this? I definitely don't know. <laughs> I definitely do know. Ew. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love slime. <laughs> you can't say no to that. Okay. <laughs> my slime is so little, <laughs> but so weird. Look how sticky it is. Yours is stickier. This is stickier. All right. We are going to get this. <laughs> Russell, why don't you hold the jar for me and I can put it in the jar for you. Okay, I'm trying to get this stuff off. Come down to see what they think of it. Will you hold the jar for me, please? Yeah. Here, put it down on the ground or on the table. I'm going to touch the leftover slime. Mm, and then we're going to wash our hands. All right, I'm going to put our monster slime in our monster jar. So good, guys. Okay, what do you think of, of us touching this just to make it? Ooh. What do you think? Is everyone liking their, their yeah. hands now? Yeah, <laughs> are you liking your hands? All right. I like yours, Russell, because since you put wiggle eyes in yours, it looks like the monster ate something that's now peering back out of the mouth. <laughs> like, help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> All right, guys. Slime. Oh my gosh. All right. Slime. So that is it everyone <laughs> so touch in the face as a reminder today we made a monster frame thanks to jess and alice those were super cute for your oh. treat bags we made down, for our treat bags we made some monster clothes pins which are great for your candy or other treats that you may have and then finally, and most hilariously, we made some monster jars with monster slime. Happy Halloween, everyone. See you next time. Pull off the.